Okay, question 22 is about matrices. Um, we have this transformation matrix here, which maps P onto Q. Then this uh, transformation matrix, which maps Q onto R. And we're given point R. So let's say... Uh, write down what this means. We've got the first transformation matrix which is 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0 which maps P, P onto Q. Okay, so P we get an X and a Y coordinate and that gives it equals the Q which is a different X so we'll call that X1 and a different Y we'll call that Y1. Then we've got um, the second transformation matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, minus 1, which maps Q onto R. So Q onto R. And Q, we don't know, is going to be X1, Y1. And R, we do know, is minus 4, 3. So we're going to start from R and work back up to find P. So what I'll do now is line that off and I'll write this one down here and we'll work back up to the top. So we're going to start with 1, 0, 0, minus 1, then Q. We know that's X1 and Y1, but I won't put them in because we're going to find those in a second. Equals R, which is minus 4, 3. So let's have a look at the first part. If I put my finger over this, we've got 1 times this value here, so it's 1 times x plus nothing times the y value, remember it's along and down, so it's nothing times y equals the top value of minus 4. Let's simplify that. That's 1x is just x equals, because y times nothing is nothing, so x equals minus 4. So I've got that part there. Now let's put my finger or thumb over there. So look for the second part. We've got 0 times minus 4. 0 times minus 4. I'll just put x. 0 times x plus minus 1 times the y value equals the bottom value which is 3. So let's simplify this. We've got minus 1y or minus y equals 3. So that means we divide through by minus 1. So y equals minus 3. So that's minus 3 there. So now we've done this bottom part here, we're going to work back up to the top part. So I'll write that bit down. We've got um, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And then this first part is P. And we've got the X and Y values, but I won't put them in because we're going to find them in a minute. And then the top part is Q, which we've now found, which is minus 4, minus 3. Right, once again, remember, it's a cross and down to find the top value. So I've got um, nothing times this one, x, plus minus 1 times y, there, minus 1 times y equals minus 4. Then I'll put my thumb over there. Then the, um, we've got minus 1 times the top value x, plus nothing times the y value equals the bottom, which is minus 3. Let's simplify these two. So look at the top part. Nothing times x is nothing. That goes out. So we've got minus 1 times y, which is minus y equals minus 4. If we divide through by minus 1, we've got y equals 4. So put that in. That's the bottom part. y equals 4. Uh, now, let's simplify the second part. Nothing times y, that goes out. So I've got minus 1 times x, so it's just minus x equals minus 3. Divide through by minus 1, so I've got x equals 3. And let's substitute that in, 3. So now we have the coordinates of p, 3, 4. 3, 4. And that's it.